Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game spotlight. Today's game up on tabletop is called Fusion Heroes. Fusion Heroes is an app based trading card or living card game, depending on how they go with this. But the idea is when you pledge, you're going to get two to four different characters. These are the character cards here, also representing all their different abilities and spell cards. You're also going to get a metal tin as well as phone holders. Well, how does this work? You're simply going to turn it to their side, take your phone, and place it just like this. Afterwards, you're each going to get a singular deck of cards, and you'll get to know what your opponent is playing, what you are playing. You set the other two aside, and you're going to start by showing how the phone-based app works. Now, the game is a simple attack-based game, which has its rock, paper, scissors mechanics, as well as boosts and tricks where you can like kind of block people's attacks and whatnot. But let me show you exactly how the app plays and how it looks on the screen. It's brilliant. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is Fusion Play Heroes, and it comes with its own little app here, as well as, obviously, a soundtrack. It shows you, you can, show, you can see your heroes and all the stuff they can do here, and it talks about them a little bit as well as new game, single round, continuous game, and credits. Let me go ahead and turn down the volume here, but I just want to show you guys that it has a different, like, different sound effects and stuff. Goodbye, buddy. Now we're going to start a new game. So once new game begins, it loads, and it's very quick. So it says, okay, here you choose your heroes, right? So we have Surf Shield a lot, and we have Donar. So I'll go ahead and put my guy in to represent that I've played a card. And it shows right there. Bam. Really quick, really nice, actually. And... Bam. And how it does this is it has little chips inside of each of these cards. And it also represents their strength, defense, mental, and dexterity. So now they're beginning, ready to begin, and it shows who I'm fighting, and it shows who he's fighting. And we're all going to take our cards face down, uh, even including our main character, just like that. And then you're going to select which card you want to use, and say, okay, maybe you want to do a shield bash card, right? So you're going to slide that in just like that. It shows you with a check mark that the card has been initiated, as well as this guy here. We'll just pick a random one just like that. Boop. And they've both been selected. It shows how much it costs and what card is being used and how they work. And then they go back and forth with damages. So he just took 18 damage. And it shows what he does. So he just got a boost. And he just got a subtraction from different stats he's doing. So mental minus 10 and plus 10 on his attack. And how much damage he has taken. Just like that. Oh, but I reflected it. Now he's taking 9 damage. And it also gives you like nice little sound effects as well. Let me see if I can show you guys a little bit of the sound. All right. Once everything has been done, so it shows all the different boosts and all the different losses, you can also see your health bar as well as your mana bar. Uh, you're going to then go ahead and take another turn. Now realize that your cards are going to uh, boost. Uh, your character is going to actually get boost. So uh, if you see this guy, you see different like specs of green. That's how much health you'll gain per turn as mana as well. So time to play another card in. Do -do -do. Check. No problem. All right. Let's do another one. Oop. All right. And they go back and forth, and they're going to battle each other. Okay, well, I guess I have it on mute because I muted it to begin with. But that's the idea. It shows the cards again. It shows the different types of cards you've used last round and shows how much damage he's doing and all the boosts and benefits and stuff like that. And you go back and forth fighting each other until one player's health bar has reached zero. And then you do two out of three battles. And that is the winner is whoever has survived the two out of three battles. So there you saw it. The app for the game Fusion Heroes works very, very well, as you can see. Once I put a card in and took it out, as well as the character cards, it all worked very smoothly. Understanding the game takes a little bit. You have to actually realize how boosts and benefits work, as well as how damage, how it affects your damages, as well as there's a little bit of randomness, a random allocation for how much damage you do. But it's fairly simple. Kind of like a Street Fighter card game with a little bit of a rock scissors element. A fun game, though. And these cards are excellent. I mean, I know the price point's pretty high. Uh, not pretty high, but it's, it's definitely higher than a regular card game because you're going to be getting these cards with uh, the little chip imprints inside of them that will use your phone, and you have to have a newer phone to do this to be able to play the game. But you only need one phone to do it, and you just play cards underneath the little phone, and back and forth you'll go. You can play it pretty much anywhere. These games, these app games, have been made so you can play anywhere. They come with nice little standees for the uh, app as well, and tons of cool little characters. You got... Uh, Kim Ono, oh uh, you've got Donar, which is the, like, he's like a Viking kind of guy. Itch, uh, this is my favorite one right here, actually. This is the girl. Her name is Titchy and Snooks. One of them is the spider, and one of them is the gal. And they, it's like kind of like the <laughs> equivalent of, like, a pet sidekick animal. And then you have Surf Shield a lot. And they all have a bunch of ver a variety of abilities. You can do different things. This guy has big beef for when he wants to heal himself. And 
that he's got in your face, uh, vital spot, defensive stance, all these kind of things that will basically determine what you're gonna be doing for your turn and how you're going to either be blocking or attacking your opponent. And also the art is fantastic. I like this art a lot. I think it's hilarious. When I was looking at the different things, just watching the girl. I mean, one of them on the, oh, this one of these cards is called, uh, let me show you. This one's called <laughs> Curing Secretion. And it shows the spider spitting some of this like web gunk or whatever onto the wound of the gal. Hopefully I'll be able to show you this on the side corner here. But, and she's healing herself, right? Just, just really funny little artwork, but uh, a fun game nonetheless. Really fun, really enjoyable, but it's a simple back and forth card game. Don't expect any more strategy than that, other than just choosing blindly where to play stuff. With a side bonus of, uh, if you place your correct combination of cards, there's different combinations for each character, you can do super abilities, which is really cool too. Boomerang Throw, My Noble Ancestors, and Crash Drive are all on the main character, so you'll be putting the main character in there to try and do super moves. If you can do that, they do a lot of damage. But anyway, that is Fusion Heroes. It's currently on Kickstarter, and I definitely suggest you check it out, especially if you like these little uh, app phone games that are coming coming your way. This one is a nice little balance of additional adding cards to it and using that e-reader chip, and it has a nice little stance here. So if you're interested, do check it out, and I thank you and appreciate you guys for looking at it, and I look forward to seeing you guys later.